originated in the Bronx. 250, 250, Bedford Park Boulevard West. Services are every Sunday at 11 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. You're all invited to come out and worship with us. Minister Coles is our minister there. Please note, yeah, that's Minister Coles here. There will be no services in the Bronx next Sunday, the 21st. We will be in Pine Bush on Saturday and on Sunday. Amen? Amen. No services in the Bronx. People are still turning up in the Bronx after we were in youth convo, you know. Security said a lot of people came out, you know, after it was being announced that there would be no services for months now. You know, we will not be back there until the 28th of April. Amen? Amen. Uh, please check around for your belongings and uh, clean up after yourself. There are coats and other items left here last night. Amen? Amen. Continue to keep one another in prayer, ministerial brothers, the sick, sheltered, Minister Coles, Pastor Jennings, our elderly mothers and brothers. Remember also the people of Haiti, what they are going through right now and all over the world. Remember them in prayer. Uh, where's Brother Shane? Okay. All right, this concludes the announcement for this morning. Back in the hands of Brother Shane. We thank God for everything that went up before him. We pray that, pray that it was pleasing in his sight. Remember to please um, put your cell phones on cyber, vibrant, or shut them off to do not interrupt the service. I'm putting the service now in the hands of Minister Coles. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. Once again, we bear witness of the one true living God, Jesus Christ, is he. We certainly are thankful to the one true living God that has blessed us with his word through the holy prophets and holy apostles of old. Certainly we thank God for our leader, teacher and guide and general overseer, Apostle Gino Jennings. Certainly we thank God for all the ministers that are here and those that are worldwide. We certainly thank God for the church. Thank God for all our elderly fathers that are here and our elderly mothers, and our brothers and sisters. Thank God if we have any visitors here for the first time, we welcome you to First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the church of Jesus Christ. There is no other way but the message of holiness. And I thank Almighty God for allowing all of us to be here today, allowing us to be here today. As I was walking here after I parked my car, I seen a man walking down the street and he only had socks on halfway on his feet and he didn't have any clothes and he had a sheet on. It almost brought tears to my eyes. But I say that to say this, be thankful. Be thankful to God for whatever you have, you better be thankful. You know, when God shook New York with a little minor four point, whatever it was, he could have shook it for an hour or two and broke up every building and every house. And the things that we take for granted, water, food, Clothes on our back, shoes on our feet, 
We even take each other for granted. We take family for granted. We take God for granted. Can't do so no more. When you become wise, every second that God gives to us is his mercy. Everything that he gives to us is by his mercy. It's his mercy that you ran across the truth of God. We have to be thankful for God sending the man of God. Using the man of God to cry out to every nation to wake up out of a deep sleep. Many of us were asleep. My God, we thought we was on the right path. But God sent a man and use that man. And I'm humbled to serve under that man. And his name is Pastor Jennings. You know, if I, haven't, if I wasn't in the truth of God, I don't know where I would end up. I almost died in 2020. It was the closest I ever been to death from the COVID. You know, when people give you that look like the doctors and the nurses give you that look, it's a certain look they give you when you're on your way out. They gave me that look many days, but it was by God's mercy that I'm still here. <laughs> I buried my daughter this year. God still gives the family strength to go every day, every day healing us, every day strengthening us. Every day being able to do the work of the Lord. There's nothing greater. I don't care who you are. You're a basketball player, football player, rapper, president. There's no job greater than serving God. No job is more important than serving God. Those of you that are here, I look out. All of you have a soul. Hallelujah to God. You got a soul that you got to fight for. You got to fight for your life. And God has put you in a position he give you a choice. He ain't forcing none of you. Some of you will reject this. Those that are looking at me. I remember last night I read a guy's comment. He said, um, yeah, you sound like Pastor Jennings. I guess I would if I'm speaking truth. Huh? <laughs> huh? The Bible tells us to speak the same thing. Be of the same mind, same judgment. You that wrote that, if you don't repent of your sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, seek the gift of the Holy Ghost, there will be no laughing in hell. There will be no laughing in the lake of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth and all those that think that they're getting away with anything my God the, the God 
of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His eyes is upon us all. And what we may think is in the dark, and I'm talking to the Truth of God members, those that are in the church every Sunday, sitting, looking holy, but your heart is dark. You're murmuring. You're backbiting. You're talking against your leader. You're talking against the ministers. God hear you. Hallelujah to God. God see you. And all you false prophets out there that keep fighting against the truth of God, you're not fighting against us. You're fighting against Jesus. For Jesus said, what you do to the least of mine, you do unto me. Hallelujah to God. Just be thankful. Don't take this for granted. I want to hear from one of our brothers before Pastor Jennings comes up. I want to call on our brother Williams in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, at this time, we do give the very highest possible honor that can be given to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We do give double honor to the prophets, and we give double honor to the apostles. We give double honor to our present-day apostle, Pastor Jennings, and we thank and praise God so very, very much for. We give honor to Minister Cole and our other minister here and to all of the brothers, mothers, sisters, children, and visitors. <clears throat> we thank and praise God for this day. And this time, how God allowed us to be here, we thank and praise God for having a leader over us, certainly whom God has sent and whom God has given wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to. We thank and praise God for the vision that God gave the man of God, and we see how a study come to pass. And we thank and praise God how God just allowed little old me to be part of the vision. We thank and praise God for the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding that God has given the man of God, and we count it a great privilege. You know, I just have to say this, Pastor Jennings, I have to say this. You know, they, um, they call me, one of the names they call me is Google. But last night, Google had some glitches. And I wish I could express to you how much I want to serve God with the pastor. God knows, and I ask God to forgive me of my mistakes and whatnot. I really want to be with the man of God because I know he's connected with God. And how God have allowed us to put, be together. I don't deserve to be with no Pastor Jennings. I really don't. I don't. But God have allowed me to be in a position to be able to hear the truth right out the mouth of the man of God at close range. So I'm so thankful. I, it's not that I'm worshiping pastor. It's not that. It's just that I've seen God work with him. I've seen God work with him according to the scriptures. How can you deny what's according to the scriptures? I thank God for Minister Cole. I thank God how God has blessed him to hang in there. I thank God for that. And our other ministering brother, I thank God for him. So pray my strength in the Lord that God would move out everything in me that's not like God. Because there's many things in me that's not like God. And I'm looking at the scriptures and I'm looking at my life. So pray for me. Pray for my wife. Pray for my children that God would help us where we stand in Eden.
We thank God for all the words that Minister Williams spoke. Certainly are true. Thank God for all of you that are here. Now, without no further ado, I want to introduce the messenger of Almighty God, Apostle Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we are thankful to the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We are thankful to God for all of our brothers and sisters that are present, to all of the ministers, Minister Cole and all the other ministers that are here, to all of our guests, uh, to you that are watching, we're here again in the wicked city of New York. And uh, the Big Apple, as they call it. And I can say with truth, the devil took a lot of bites out this apple. But we are grateful. Uh, last night, 67 went down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus. grateful to God for all of you that are here. And the Bible says is it is good for us to be here. Yes. Amen. We can never thank God enough for sending the prophets and the apostles. You know, they had all the information right. And uh, when God sent them, he sent them with a message to gather as many souls as possible to get themselves prepared to meet the Lord and to see the Lord in peace. That's all I want. Yes. You know, a lot of folks say, I'd be glad when I see the Lord. <laughs> it depends on where you're going. <laughs> if you're going to hell, I don't want to see him. But if he going to save me, then I'm all for it. We thank God, moreover, for the message of holiness, how it's reaching the people. It's really reaching the people. And I am grateful that God has given us a message that's very strong, very powerful. And I don't care who you are, where you come from. You have to submit yourself and serve the same God that I'm serving. There's only one God of the prophets and one God of the apostles and one God for creation. And when I look at the scriptures, as Brother Williams often say, you can't deny the scriptures. No, no. Truth be told, if you want to be right, you cannot deny the scriptures. I want to say in advance, uh, happy anniversary, wedding anniversary to my wife, Sister Jennings. which will be on tomorrow. Uh, she and I have been together. She often keep up with the dates of how long we've been married. I, I feel like I've been married all my life <laughs> because we've been together for 47 years. <laughs> and I thank God for that. I also want to wish Shane and his wife a happy wedding anniversary as well. <laughs> I pray that the devil come out of him. <laughs> him and I. <laughs> so him and I ought to talk about that. He said, pray for me, Pastor. I got the devil in me. I say, well, I know. <laughs> you're starting to look like him. <laughs> you know, we, we battle it out. We battle it out back and forth. See, a lot of time, viewers and you that are here, you just see me and Williams go at it. Yeah. You don't see what me and Shay go at it. <laughs> Sometimes he rise up and he get Williams' spirit, try to throw Bible on him. <laughs> Amen. But uh, we beat him back in place pretty good with the Bible. <laughs> But I thank God for giving us some good brothers oh, yes. and some good sisters. 
When I think of it, we have an army. Oh, yes. We do. We have an army of every walk of life. Yes. You know, I was, uh, I often think as I was meeting with one couple today, and I met with one brother, and uh, I figured he was a basketball player because he stood next to me. <laughs> it was like David and Goliath. <laughs> And he was an NBA player from the Clippers. And him and his wife both went down in water last night in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, he began to tell me how many NBA players are watching this program. And that's something I know for a fact because in many places we have gone in the country, I always know when NBA players come in because I'm looking up. <laughs> Amen. So I'm glad because the message, regardless of what walk of life you come from, if you want to be right, God will get you right. And uh, I think of the different rappers that are here. Wonderful. Somebody, uh, my son, I talked to him before I came down. He said, Dad, I was watching a telecast last night. You wouldn't believe who came up for prayer in line. He said, P. Diddy's son was here last night. Oh. I said, I wouldn't know. He said, Dad, yeah, he was there. He said, I zoomed the camera, and then I pulled his picture up and matched. He said, I can't believe it. Oh. Well, everybody ought to be here. <laughs> Whatever name you have, P. Diddy, Sight Squatch, <laughs> SpongeBob, Shorty Red, and <laughs> Little Fever, Big Fever, 50 Cents, Half Nickel, Half Pipe. Uh, whatever you call yourself. <laughs> Everybody has to do the same thing to get right with God. Everybody. As soon as men and women realize that nobody's lifestyle impresses God, God designed something that the rich, the poor, the bond, and free have to do the same thing. Same thing in order to get Bible right. right. God don't put nobody in no special class, no special clout, and I'm glad God have it like that. That's right. That way nobody can think higher than they ought to think, ought to think. but think soberly. Everybody have to come the way of holiness. The Bible plainly says a highway shall be there. That's right. And a way, a way that shall be called the way of holiness. holiness. So one of the greatest blessings in life is when God bless you to hear his message. Okay. It will change your life. It will enlighten you. It will give you a better understanding about you. That's right. You know, a lot of times we say we know ourselves, but the truth of the matter is, without experience, it's impossible to know yourself. When you come into the knowledge of the truth, there's a lot of experience oh, yes. that God will bring your direction that will teach you things about God you didn't know and teach you things about yourself you didn't know. A man that hath traveled. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 34, and at verse 9. Yes. A man that hath traveled. A man that hath traveled. Knoweth many things. Know a whole lot. And he that hath much experience. He that have much experience. Will declare wisdom. Do you hear that? That's right. So to my ball players, I want to give you a three-point shot and slam dunk you with Bible. To my football players, I want to kick Acts 238 to you. They give you a perfect field goal. That's right. To my golf players, I just want to bunt some Bible to you. 
so you can be right with God, no matter what line of work you're in. No matter. That day when the Lord come, you know, I, I look through, I look at the city of New York and the high buildings from the past and from the present, and I th was thinking to myself, wow, just imagine, one day not a stone going to stand. That's right. These buildings will tumble just like weeds. That's right. And when you look up, the heavens will be on fire. Yeah. And millions and millions of people will be running because they know they are guilty for denying God. That's right. You can go to church. You can go to the synagogue and mosque. That's right. And still be guilty for denying God. That's right. Amen. Uh, the internet was jumping off the message last night about the Jews and Gentiles and what is a Jew and what is a Gentile. And, and I had a, a, a Jewish brother logged on and say, I was born a Jew. And I want to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Wonderful. God way is the best way. best way. This is a stubborn world. Yes, but God's word is cutting and making its way through all the hardness and all the evil and all the wickedness. That's right. I know many folks criticize my speech and the way I sound. Can't help myself. Can't help. Bible says, though I be rude in speech, rude in speech. but not in knowledge. Mm. God didn't make me a pat you on the back, Joel Allstein, butter you down, margarine preacher. No. We come talking direct to you in a language yo, you have to understand. That's right. I don't care if you're somewhat slow. <laughs> you're going to understand this. That's right. All right, get your recipe books open. That's right. Book of Pain. Oh, yes. Open your Bible anywhere, Williams, and let's go to work. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and we're starting at verse 1. I want you all to follow me. Amen. Follow me real good. Real that good. way you can leave your churches. That's right. Which one? All of them. All of them. Anyone that contradict God's word, pack up and leave your church. That's right. Doesn't matter who the pastor is. That's right. Anytime your religion is not in the scriptures, you shouldn't be a part of that religion. No. You know, there's many people who want to be religious because their mother and father may be religious or their grandparents. And I often tell people this, before you profess any religion, don't look at what your family is in no. or your mother, your wife, your sons and daughters. First thing you should want to know, what do God believe? That's it. Because his belief matters. That's right. Amen. And whenever your belief or my belief contradicts God, we're going to be in trouble. That's it. If your belief or my belief is in agreement, but God don't agree with it, then what we believe don't mean nothing. That's right. I want to believe everything God believes. Oh, yes. If it hurt me, and believe me, it does. Amen. <laughs> It hurts you, don't it? Oh, yes. But uh, believe it. Believe it anyway. Because God said it. That's it. And when God say a thing, he challenges you. Yeah. Everything about you is challenged. Oh, yes. What you think, what you believe. In fact, he challenged the way you were raised. That's right. He challenged your dedication to your belief, to your faith. God challenged that stuff. Yes. See whether your religious belief is Bible-based or family-based. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. Bible-based or family-based. Yeah. That's a big difference. A big difference. Some of us profess religion, 
because it was handed down through our family tree. Hmm. And I often say all trees are made to be cut down. Oh, yes. My family uh, tree, if you call it that, most of them, if not 99%, were Indians. Uh, Cherokee on one side and Blackfoot on the other side. My father was practically full-blooded Cherokee. But uh, when God wake you up, you'll stop that rain dancing. <laughs> That's right. When God wake you up, you will leave the medicine man alone. That's real. And when God wake you up, you'll come and do the way God said it. That's right. All right, let's go to work with Bible now. Let's have it. Isaiah 58, and we're at verse 1. Listen at this. Cry aloud. Yeah. Hmm. Start off noisy. <laughs> That's right. Sounding good. Good. Cry aloud. Spare not. Oh. Hmm. To where uh, I'm from the hood. Yes. And when we got into a good tangle, <laughs> nobody spared the other. No especially with body boxing. That's right. It was two forms of boxing in the hood. We were slap box, pow, 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 pow. But when we body box, it's toe to toe, rib to rib. Every, I mean, we both put it all in. That's right. We ain't just dishing it out. We want to see, can we take it? Yeah. Well, the word of God comes to us like body boxing. Oh, yes. To many of you folk watching and some of you folk here, you go to churches and it's not even a good slap box. That's right. They don't even slap box in Joel Austin congregation. That's right. T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar, or them folks that go to Fred Price, Fred Price, there's no slap box. Everybody gets to get rubbed down. Rubbed down. Be a little nice, <laughs> a little nice Christian. That's right. No. That's right. Hey man, Williams came out of the, that kind of church. Kind of church. That's right. Is that right? That's right. It wasn't. It's not. Listen, if it's not even slap boxing. Not even slap. Meaning you're not really getting hit. No. If I smack you, you'll feel it. Yes. But if I bring these five digits together, yeah. you really will fit it. That's right. It will have a different impact. That's right. And believe me, I'm going to get a much stronger response out of you. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nobody <laughs> is to be spared. Nobody. From God's word. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. If God had respect the person, mm -hmm. then people would be spared. Oh, yes. But nobody gets spared nobody. from nothing, nothing God says. That's right. It isn't that the word of God come to you and don't come to me. God don't spare me. No. God don't spare Williams. No, he don't. God don't spare the ministers. No. God come get everybody. Everybody. And then he laid law that all of us got to follow. You know, when I think of it, it's, it's something. I believe the parable about the penny. Yes. I often think of that. <laughs> and then I think of Williams and I. That's right. You know, there are some areas overseas that he may not make it. But That's right. I have to go anyway. You have to be there, Pastor. <laughs> Sometime I go to Africa, William's not there. I may go to India, William's may not be there. I go to Scotland or Ireland or Italy, William's not there. That's right. Uh, many foreign countries, William's are not there, and then there's some places he is. Right. I have to counsel people by the thousand, advise people by the uh, thousands, mm -hmm. and I have thousands of emails, people asking me questions I got to read and look at and pray for people and do <laughs> all of this. All of that. He ain't got to do none of it. That's right. But God made an interesting parable about a penny. In Matthew chapter 25 and verse 14. I want everybody to hear this because I, have to, I, I often ask God to help me with this scripture. That's right. Because here's all this work that he sent us to do. And yet if I make the first resurrection and Williams make it, we get the same reward. Same reward. 
if he don't travel nowhere <laughs> and don't pray for nobody and nobody will write him to answer no questions and nothing. He just live and please God, do his job, live right, right. we get the same reward. Same reward. That's true. That's very true. You know, true, my God. flesh feel like it's unfair. It's very true. But uh, I have to get my personal views out of it. That's right. Listen at this. We'll start in St. Matthew chapter 20, rather, and at verse 1. You see, he's reading it with spunk, <laughs> with such joy. That's joy. Listen. Matthew chapter 20, and we're at verse 1. Yes. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder. All right. Which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Yeah. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. Think of it. He agreed with the laborers. For a penny a day. A penny a day. He sent them, notice the Bible says it's comparing this to the kingdom of heaven. For the kingdom of heaven is like. Is like. Unto a man that is an householder. Now he go on to make a parable. What it's like. What it's like. Mm -hmm. Which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Yes. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. He sent them into his vineyard. Yes. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Agreed. Agreed. To a penny a day. Agreed. In other words, that's your reward. That's it. If you want to be saved and be right with God, mm -hmm. then you agree. Agree. To work for him. For a penny a day. A penny a day. That's right. In other words, whatever God chooses to give you, you have to take it right. if you're wise. That's right. And you would agree to it if you're wise. That's right. Listen. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, yes. he sent them into his vineyard. Mm -hmm. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Now here's some others mm -hmm. standing, standing idle. idle in the marketplace. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Go on in the vineyard. And whatsoever is God right. God don't want us standing around doing nothing. Doing nothing. He want us to work for him. That's right. Every skill you have. That's right. Whatever talent you have. That's right. Whatever way you can be a help to the work of God, that's right. You should do it. Do it. And do it willingly. Oh, yes. Not by force. Amen. Not by constraint. Because think of it. If you did not have that skill or talent, hmm. someone said, well, God didn't give me that skill. I went to school for it. Man, how do you think you're able to obtain knowledge right. if God didn't fix your mind to hold the information? That's right. I don't care how long you went to school. That's right. If the most high God, creator of heaven and earth, don't give your mind to contain information, yeah. why, you'll be like a vegetable. That's right. Wouldn't have no understanding of nothing. No understanding. Listen at this. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Yes. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Go in the vineyard. And whatsoever is right. Whatsoever is right. I will give you. I give you. And they went their way. Mm -hmm. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. Yes. And about the eleventh hour he went out mm -hmm. and found others standing idle and said unto you them. You always got people idle. Around. Idling around. And sometimes them the kind that complain about what others are doing. That's right. Why don't you buckle down and do something? That's right. Put your hand to work and work for God and work well. Work well. Listen good. And about the eleventh hour he went out. Yeah. And found others standing idle and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? How long? All the day. All day doing nothing. They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. And? He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. Look at him. You get going. And whatsoever is right. Whatever is right. That shall ye stop. You start doing it. So when even was come, mm -hmm. the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward. What is it? Call the laborers and give them their hire, <laughs> beginning them from the last unto the first. You hear this? That's right. Here come the Lord of the vineyard. That's right. And the Lord of the vineyard going to come for us. That's right. And uh, he going to examine what you're doing. What you're doing. What you have done. That's right. He going to look it over. Oh, yeah. You know, that's why I'm determined to do this thing right. Oh, yes. 
God said in the scriptures through the apostle Paul. Every man's er, work. Hear, hear this. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 13. Every man's work shall be made manifest. Shall be made manifest. For the day shall for declare the it. the day shall declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire. It shall be made known by fire. And the fire shall try. And the fire shall test it. Every man's Every work. Every man's work. Of what sort it is. What every kind man. of work every man are you doing? That's right. What sort is it? What sort it is? Is it good? Yeah. Is it evil? That's right. Is it for God's glory or for self glorification? That's right. Is it to make a name for yourself? That's right. Or is it to promote the name of God? That's right. Is it for God's glory? Glory. Or are you doing this just to get attention? For your glory. And the fire shall try every man's work. One thing I say, fire tests everything. Oh, yes. You can get a man or a woman. You get a man so stubborn, arrogant, hard head. Yeah, I never pray. I this. Hmm. His voice can be heavier than mine. Yeah. He can be a barbell boy. That's right. But you let somebody throw gasoline on him in a match. Amen. <laughs> His voice will holler, will holler like a woman uh, with a soprano voice. That's right. They get that flames off of him. That's right. You let that woman who thinks she's the finest shapely thing living, hmm. but throw a match on her. Throw a match. You will see her humble right away. Oh, yes. Just waddling on the ground trying to get those flames out. That's right. God have a way of creating circumstances yeah. and allow those circumstances to interrupt our life. That's right. That will show you what you are and what you are not. That's right. Listen at this. Back in St. Matthew 20 and at verse 8. Yes. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto a steward, uh -huh. call the laborers. Call the laborers. And give them their hire. Give them their hire. Beginning unto, beginning from the last unto the first. Yes. And when they came, they were hired about the 11th hour. All right. They received every man a penny. They received every man a penny. A penny. Nobody got a different reward from the other. No. But Everybody get a penny. Every man a penny. All right. But when the first came. When the first came. They supposed that they should have received more. Huh. <laughs> Amen. When the first came. They supposed. The ones that have been out there the longest. That's right. <laughs> laboring. 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 That's right. Laboring. Laboring. <laughs> You know, I, I've been pastoring for 40 years. My Lord, my Lord. And two more years, I've been preaching for 50 years. Mm. Wow. Just in two more years. My Lord. In two more years, be the Lord's will, I'll be 63. Mm. I'll be preaching for 50 years oh, declaring God's word, William. My Lord, that's something. That make me sound old, don't Yes, it does. You didn't beautiful have to thing. agree with it's it. It's a beautiful thing, Pastor. 50 years <laughs> preaching the same thing. Same thing. That's right. Not wavering. Same thing. Not shaky. That's right. But consistent. That's right. You know, a lot of men. That's true. They took a firm stand when they had a little small group mm -hmm. or a church maybe about the size of this stage. Mm -hmm. Then if they got a reasonable amount of people, right away they start changing. Yeah. For the worse. Oh, yes. Not for the better. That's right. And then they take the Bible off the people. That's right. Give them so much sinful leverage. Yeah. Anything that'll bring more members, more money, more notoriety, more prosperity. What good is all of that, all of that yeah. if God is not pleased? That's right. The whole objective of serving God is that we may please him. Please him. That's right. If God is not pleased, pleasing others don't mean nothing. No. Until God is pleased. That's right. The first one that should be pleased is heaven and heaven only. That's right. 
Listen at this. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, yes. they received every man a penny. Uh -huh. But when the first came, when they, the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. Oh, they felt as though they should have got something more. And the reward should have been bigger. And they better, likewise. Greater. That's right. That's right. And what? And they likewise received every man a penny. What? Amen. <laughs> Doesn't matter to God that I would have been preaching almost 50 years. <laughs> and how long have you been reading for us, William? I've been reading well, for Well, he been reading for me. Over 40 years. Over 40 years over because 40 years. I, and I trained him with the help of God how to read. That's right. Uh, for me. And then I, God moved on me. God moved on me. Yeah. And laid hands on him. Yeah. And uh, God anointed him. Yes. And I asked God, do to him what you've done to me. Hallelujah. Put in him the same mind Hallelujah. and the same scriptural sharpness. Hallelujah. That wherever you guide me to preach, yeah. guide him to read. That's right. And I can say of a truth, God answered my prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God put us together like Paul and Barnabas, like Paul and Timothy, like hallelujah. Paul and Titus. Hallelujah. God put us together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. And nobody can deny hallelujah. the fact. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody Thank you, Lord Jesus. can deny the fact hallelujah. that God is in this. Hallelujah. You know, I want something God is in. That's right. Hallelujah. If God is not in it, hallelujah. it's not worth having it. Oh, no. So it doesn't matter how long you've been out there laboring. That's right. If you labor right. That's right. And here's someone haven't been out there long as you. Yes. But do it right. That's it. You get the same reward. That's right. There is no greater reward. Hallelujah. Than eternal life with Christ himself. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. What happened there? But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. Yes. And they likewise received every man a penny. Yes. And when they had received it, they murmured. They murmured. Against the good man of the house. Against the good man of the house. Saying, these last have wrought but one hour. Yes. And thou hast made them equal unto us. Listen. Amen. If someone repent of their sins, yeah. baptize in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Ghost. And they have that new birth for one hour. One hour. Mm. And then the Lord comes. <laughs> That's right. That's something. And they live a holy life just for that one hour. One hour. One hour after receiving the Holy Ghost, the Lord appeared. That's right. God will accept them. My Lord. Just like he would accept the one that lived right for 50 years. That's right. That's right. Now, That's something. don't be foolish now. Amen. And say, Lord, <laughs> let, <laughs> let me be one of the one hour saints. <laughs> That's too risky. That's too risky. Glory <laughs> to God. Oh, yes. Come on, son. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man they of the house. They murmured against the good man of the house. Saying, these last have wrought but one hour. Yes. And thou hast made them equal unto us. What? Thou hast made them equal unto I us. I told you God don't have no respect of person. No, no. God look at them equal. God ain't equal. looking at the apostles and say you are better than someone that's not an apostle when to be saved. That's right. Oh, no. That's right. Listen, the 12 names may be on the gates, mm -hmm. and there's 12 foundations. foundations, but none of the apostles have a special seat. That's right. In the kingdom of God. That's right. Not one. Not one. Not one no. have a special seat with Jesus. No. Jesus taught us, unless you come uh, as these little children. Little children. You know, there was a, uh, a discussion that came up among the brethren. Uh, who's the greatest? Who's the greatest? In the kingdom. That's right. And that's the way folks are now. That's right. 
So somebody wrote uh, and commented and said, they, 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 I thank God for Pastor Jennings. He will have a special seat. Yes. In the kingdom. In the book well, of St. Mark. Well, 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 well. You know something I don't. That's right. And, uh, you know something? I, listen, I just want to get into the kingdom. That's right. I'm not going to have a special seat. No. Hear me good? St. Mark. I hear this in the book of Mark. St. Mark chapter 10 and we're at verse 35. Get it now. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him. Yes. Saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> whatsoever. Now let us understand it. Yes. Our desires and God desires may clash. That's true. You can desire something that God don't. That's right. You know how that is. That's right. Because some of us now have desires that God is saying no to. That's true. And those desires are in straight conflict with what God desires. That's right. Listen at this. We would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Yes. And he said unto them, what would ye that I should do for you? What you want me to do? They say unto him, grant unto us. Uh-oh. Grant, grant unto us. That we may sit. That we may sit. One on thy right hand. Huh. Amen. Boy, the apostles thought big. <laughs> yes, they did. One on my right hand. And the other on thy left we hand. the other one to hang out on your left side. In thy glory. In your glory. But Jesus said unto Jesus them. Jesus said to them. You know not what you ask. <laughs> That's right. You hear that? Ye know not what you ask. You don't know what you're asking. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? Uh-oh. Oh That's it. Now the boss is talking <laughs> heavy here. <laughs> That's right. He's challenging everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Before you go out asking the Lord for something, yes. make sure you know what you're talking about. That's right. Now, he said, can you drink of the cup I drank of? I Hold drink it. Of. Hold it down. Oh, yes. He ain't talking about just drinking some water. No. He's talking about can you endure? Endure. That's it. What I endure. That's right. Can you digest? That's right. What I'm digesting. That's right. Can you go through? Go through. What I'm going through. That's right. We sing that song, to be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. To be like Jesus, oh, how I long. <laughs> to be like Jesus. <laughs> oh, you do? Amen. You do? You do. So meek and lowly. That's right. They, they, they sing that part. So humble and holy. Holy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Meek and lowly. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Humble and holy. That's true. That's true. But acquainted with grief. That's right. And the word of God said, he's long suffering, long suffering to us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's right. So look at Jesus' question here. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Can you? Can you? Mm. You're jumping and shouting and testifying and speaking in tongue and eyes rolling all back and can't <laughs> see your pupils and <laughs> the white of your eyes and sliding around in the chair. God help your bouncing heart. That's right. But can you drink of the cup of the cup that I drink of? Can you endure what Jesus endured? That's right. Can you? They spit on him. Yes, they did. What would you do if you were spit on? And I'm talking about baby slobber either. No, no. <laughs> spit right in your face. Right in your face. Mm. Or while you're trying to get someone told, they just spit from within. My Lord, my Lord. And they come out and just go straight in your mouth with your mouth open. <laughs> Look at that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Make your choke. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? You know, walking with Jesus is paying a price. Yes, it is. You got a, pi a price to pay. That's right. Nobody served him and got it easy. No. Anybody say, I'm not going through nothing. You ain't walking with him. No. 
Jesus said what? Can you drink of the Can cup? Can you drink of the cup? Of the cup? That I drink of? That I drink of. And be baptized with the baptism. Can you be baptized with the baptism? That I am baptized with? He liked his suffering to drinking, mm-hmm. and he liked his suffering to baptizing. Baptizing. Suffering is something you digest. Oh, yes. And baptizing that kind of suffering, you know, you ever feel like your whole being, That's the truth. everything about you, is just being submerged in things. That's right. One thing after the other. Yeah. And sometimes it's like you're not coming up quick enough. Oh, yes. You start drowning. Oh, yeah. So can you be baptized? With the baptism that I am baptized with? Can you? Can you? Mm. That's something. Can you endure what he endure? My they Lord. beat him on the back with a smoking flax. That's right. Put a crown of thorns on his head. That's right. They had planted a crown of thorns. L- listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew And some of us can't even tolerate if somebody look at you wrong. That's true. Shake your hand wrong or roly little beady eyes at you. That's right. And you complaining and sad. And, uh, I don't want to come to church if he's there. I don't want to come to church if she's there, you little. Yeah, that's a little childish kindergarten mind. That's right. You can't drink of the cup no. that he drank of. No way. You're too busy drinking punch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You're one of them cool head sinks. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you drink of the cup ahead, he man. drank Go of, ahead. you got to be prepared, mind, soul, body, and spirit That's to right. endure what he endured. That's right. Not just talking, but actually endure it. Amen. Listen. St. Matthew 27, I'm at verse 27. Got to be prepared, be rejected by your own people. That's true. He said, I came to my own and my own received me not. That's right. Got to be prepared to be persecuted oh, yes. by your own people. Oh, yes. Amen. It was his kinfolk. Thank God the Jews that put him to death. That's right. The Bible said they killed the prince of life. That's right. Word of God said a man foes shall be those of oh, his nice. own household. That's right. Huh? Matthew 27 and verse 27. What is it? Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus and then the soldiers of the governor of the governor took Jesus into took the common Jesus hall. Jesus into the common hall. And gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Look at here. Mm. A whole band of soldiers. Good. Listen, if somebody want to gather you up mm. and place you in jail yeah. or the firing squad in behalf of serving the Lord Jesus, are you willing? Are you willing? It's easy to say yes if you are, you ain't never been there. That's right. Are you willing? That's right. Mm. If the police is ready mm. to beat you to death with a nightstick and dare you to call on that name. My Lord, my Lord. Are you willing? Are you willing? That's right. Think of it. That's right. You see... Those questions, you, it, it makes it difficult to speak in tongue, doesn't it? Oh, oh yes. I don't even see nobody waving their hands saying hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at me like, for real? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I want you to think now. Think. Serving God is not like this Boy Scout stuff. No. no. This junk that's taught in these mega churches, they make it seem like serving God is like the happiest event of all day, every day. And serving God every day is not like that. No. No way. God will give you a real wake-up call. Yes, he will. Serving God, it is written in your heartness. That's right. As a good soldier. Good soldier. And anybody here or watching around the world who ever been in the military, no boot camp don't make you happy. Oh, no. You in boot camp? Ain't nobody in boot camp with ballet shoes. No. Nobody in boot camp with a costume. That's right. Putting on a play. That's right. Boot camp mean that. Mean that. They don't care if you're a woman. When they have that rope up there that's look like a ladder, climb it. Oh, yes. You can, you can act all feminine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That sergeant ain't looking at your femininity. No, no. Get your legs over that rope, <laughs> private. That's right. That's right. When he asks those women a question, 
They've got to respond, sir, yes, sir. If he tell you, I can't hear you. That's right. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. You got to get it from the gut. From the gut. The sergeant don't care if you're a female. No. He'll talk about your mama and daddy like anybody else. Oh, yes. He'll tell you, you should have went to ballet school they come in here. <laughs> That's right. You should have took ballet classes. Amen. What's wrong with you, private? What's wrong Get with you? yourself over of that rope. That's right. That's the best thing you can do? Lay on your gut. Give me 50 push-ups. That's right. Oh, private, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you want your mommy? Oh. <laughs> Do you understand? That's right. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's what they're going to do. Oh, yes. They do that to condition your mind. Yeah. And they work you out to condition your body. That's right. Your mind must be scripturally conditioned. Oh, yes. This is why the book teaches us, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Oh, yes. The Bible also conditions the body. body. For the members of the body must be brought under subjection that it may be governed by the rule of law that God laid. That's right. Listen at this. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall. Yes. And gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Uh -huh. And they stripped him. Look at here. Mm. They stripped him. And put on him a scarlet robe. Put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a crown of thorns. See, they was doing all this to make mockery of him. That's right. Teasing him. Teasing him. Can you tolerate being teased? Mm. Being mocked on your job? That's you right. got on them long, what are you, one of them holy rollers now? That's right. Tolerate being teased and mocked from your friend's brother oh, that yes. you used to drink with, smoke with, hang out with, party with. That's right. Hey, what's wrong now? You a church boy? That's right. You a church boy now? Yeah. See, this is what God want. God want his people yeah. to be as bold for him yes. more than you was for the devil. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God wants his people not to be ashamed not of him. Ashamed. You don't want him to be ashamed of you. That's right. So don't you be ashamed of him. That's right. Are you listening? And when they had planted a, cr a crown of thorns. When they planted, planted a crown of thorns. They put it upon his head. Mocking his kingship. And a reed in his right hand. Mocking, you know, a king have a staff. Right. See, they put a reed in his hand. And they bowed the knee before him. Then they bowed the knee before him. And mocked him. Mm. They done what? And mocked him. That's Think of it. That's something. This is the cup. Yes. That he drank. That's right. This is the baptism That's that he was baptized with. That's right. Endurance. It's part of the development of oh. God's people. Oh, yes. And the problem with many of us, we don't want to endure. Nobody wants to endure. No. But endurance makes you stronger. Oh, yes. It uh, tests your stamina. Tests your stamina. See whether you really mean business about walking with God or give up and backslide. That's right. Look how loyal you are to Satan. Yes. Yeah. Satan said, sell drugs, you sell it. <laughs> so, Satan said, snork some crack, snork it. Yeah. Satan said, get high, you get high. Oh, yes. Until your own friend, you don't even know where you're laying down sleeping. That's true. You see a little crack in the sidewalk you think is the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Amen. You out there trying to walk over it. <laughs> Look how foolish you are. Yeah. Women drunk, cussing. Cussing. Don't know who house they're in, who arms they're in. That's true. Or who house they wake up in. That's right. Now, if you are loyal and was loyal, serving sin. Serving sin. Why are you so ashamed? Yes. When it comes to God. That's right. That's right. If you can wear fake hair. Hmm. Make up like Jezebel. Yeah. Everything pierced like Jezebel. That's right. 
Many skirts showing your shape, deep cut showing your cleavage. Yeah. And now God stripped you and make you better than you was. Yeah. Why are you ashamed? Why are you ashamed? Because your friends found out your hair is not really that long. That's right. Why are you ashamed? That's right. Because your nose not pierced, your lips not pierced, your ears not pierced, you got rid of your bracelets. Yes. Why are you ashamed to stop manicuring your nails, mister? That's right. Why are you ashamed That's right. to come out of your tight pants? That's right. That's right. We become ashamed Shame. to even testify that we're serving God. We don't want our friends to know, family members to know, so therefore we address one way to work uh -huh. yeah. and dress another way to church. That's right. Amen. That's right. Either you're for God, for God or you're not. Oh, yes. No in between. No in between. Don't be afraid to let your friends know, I don't drink no more. That's right. I don't smoke no more. That's right. I don't club no more. Amen. They're not embarrassed from doing it. Yeah. You should not be embarrassed from stop doing it. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. God want a good soldier. Good soldier. So ask yourself, what kind of soldier are you? Are you? That's right. You know, you got men that protect the president. Yeah. I guess they were CIA fellas? Secret, Secret, Secret Service. Service. Take a bullet for the president. If Trump will become president, you got to be nuts to take a bullet for him. <laughs> That's right. In fact, to me, you got to be nuts to take a bullet for any of these political liars. Any of them. Any of them. But imagine being scared. Imagine if Jesus walked the streets of New York for real. Mm. And ask you to walk with him. Mm. And the price for walking with Kim, he tell you, you must be willing to take all forms of abuse right. in my behalf. That's right. Bar none. Bar none. Could you do it? Yeah. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. Think of it. When he was carrying the cross, one Simon of Cyrene, Cyrene. came and carried the cross. Carry. That's right. Can you walk the street if possible mm. with Jesus? And he give you an ultimatum in order for you to walk with me, man or woman. Yeah. You must be willing to take all abuse, all abuse in order for you to walk just by my side, my Lord. regardless of what it is, could you do it? Could you do it? It certainly would be worth it. Yes. I mean, Jesus, that's the man. That's right. It ain't nobody like him. No, no. It ain't nobody better than him. No, no. That's right. Look past being scared. Yeah. If a bullet hit me, I'm walking with the resurrection. Go well, ahead. Hey. So if I get shot and go down, Gino, come forth. That's right. Here I come on back again. Walking right back again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is what God wants out of all of us. That's right. Be willing to walk with Kim and 
serve him. And the day will come of a better resurrection. Better resurrection. But to make that resurrection, man, you got a price to pay. Oh, yes. And nobody know what that price may be. That's right. America, act like it's going towards a dictatorial regime. Yeah. Want to take away your rights of worshiping God? Yeah. Or want to tell you how, how? God should be worshiped? That's right. From a White House point of view. That's right. The scripture tells us they that worship God must worship. Must worship God. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. If anybody come on the scene and try to get me to worship God another way. Another way. Other than spirit and in truth, I refuse to try to worship that way. That's right. You know. That's Some right. folks say, I don't want to be rebellious, but rebellion have its place. Yeah. Stubbornness have its place. Oh, yes. If you're trying to get me to go a direction that God wants, I'm going to rebel. That's right. I'm going to be stubborn. That's right. And I must be willing to pay that price for my rebellion. Oh, yes. Because the price of obedience mm. Serving God in some places in the world yes. is death. Yes. Are you listening? That's right. America is a wicked country, but you have freedoms here. Oh, yes. I can talk like this here. That's right. In fact, I talk like this everywhere I go. Yeah, that's right. You know, really, I yes, go to do. communist countries, and I was preaching in India. And uh, you know, India is 99.9% .9 Hindu. Mm -hmm. The next is Islam, is the second largest. The third largest is uh, so-called Christianity. Mm -hmm. So we had thousands of people out that night. And uh, we were declaring the word of God and we were speaking on idolatry. And we got into the Hindu religion. Uh, many of them, the thousands of followers used to be Hindu. And so some of our ministers took us to a Hindu temple and I went there for the first time and just to look at the different idols and there was one God, <laughs> black as night, <laughs> had about eight arms. And, oh man, he was tall, tall, probably from floor to ceiling behind a glass case with a doorbell. So I rang the bell and rung the bell and was to see what's going to happen. And the minister said, I forgot the name of that God. He said, oh, yeah, well, you have to ring the bell to wake him up. My Lord. So I rung the bell and rung the bell and, sh and kept standing there. And if God helped me, if I needed help, that God couldn't help me. No, no. But I remember when we were speaking against idolatry and the Hinduism, and even one of my ministers, the bishop at the time, who we appointed overseer of South India, man, he got so terrified, he jumped out of his chair, <laughs> grabbed my shirt. No, 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 please, 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 no. Don't speak against Hindu. No, speak against Hindu. We get shot. We get shot. Lord. I told him, <laughs> I told him, all right, bishop, that, you'll be all right. Just rest yourself. When he sat down, he said, oh, praise God. <laughs> I came right back again. Hindu is of the devil. <laughs> Idolatry is wrong. <laughs> I came right back again. What price are you willing to pay? Yeah. And really standing for God. That's it. What price, what price are you really to pay? Mm. The apostles, some of them was murdered. Murdered. Many of the prophets were killed. That's right. Give me the book of Hebrews. Yes. Let's read some of the experiences. Yes. Where some of the swans in the Old Testament endured. That's right. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and at verse 32. Listen at this. And what shall I more say? Think of it. This is all about earning that penny. That's it. 
making it into the kingdom of God. Get rid of the illusion of this fake nice guy Christianity nice guy. garbage that come out of hell. That's right. Satan hates God. That's right. And Satan hates God's people. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at this. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 32. Said what? And what shall I more say? What? What shall, shall I, I more say? say? For the time would fail me. The time will fail me. To tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah. What happened? Of David also and Samuel and of the prophets. Yes. Who through faith subdued kingdoms. Through faith they subdued kingdoms. Brought righteousness. Brought righteousness. Brought righteousness. Brought righteousness. Obtained promises. They obtained promises. Stop the mouths of lions. Daniel in the den of lions. Think Amen. of it. Hallelujah. About 50 go with us to Africa. Mm. And a tribe rise up and tie up about 27 of you. Yeah. And throw you in the lion's den. Throw you in the lion's den. But promise to let you go if you bow to the idol God. What will you do? That's right. I'm talking about you with the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. What would you do? What would you do? Would you believe that the God of Daniel still exists now? Amen. Or would you tremble, tremble and deny Jesus like Peter did? That's right. Think of it. Think of it. Amen. This is why your faith must be in God. Don't wait till something happened to believe God. That's right. Just have faith in God, period. That's right. Listen. Stop the mouths of lions. Stop the lies. The, the, the lions. mouths of lions. Quench the violence of fire. Three Hebrew brothers, mm. and also Abraham. And Abraham. Imagine if they took your sons and your daughters right in front of your eyes, got them dangling over fire, and, and say, we're going to cut the rope and put them in it. My Lord, my Lord. We'll let them go if you only bow to our idol God. Mm. Would you bargain? Would you bargain? Would you compromise? Or would you tell your children I see you in a better resurrection? That's right. That's right. Hmm? Think of it. Amen. Thank God. This is no plaything. This is real. This is real. There are certain experiences or certain scriptures in the Bible that will be fulfilled in your life quicker in other countries than here in America. That's right. I done been in many countries. We'll be back in Africa, God willing, after we leave Berlin, Germany in August. Hmm. After we leave Berlin, we go to Mozambique. From Mozambique to Malawi. From Malawi to South India. From South India to East India. Mm. Then I come home and rest a while. Oh, then later on, we go to Dubai. Hmm? That's right. Go to Ireland, Scotland, Italy. Yeah. We're not going playing poker or playing <laughs> pool. <laughs> no. no, no. Man, we, and we're not getting paid for this. That's right. We are preaching it freely preaching and free. preaching it willingly, not by constraint. Amen. That's the way Jesus purposed for it to be done. That's right. I ain't going away and preach, and they raise a big offering and give it to me. You can keep your offering. Yeah. The thing I'm laboring for is that penny. That penny. I want that penny from Jesus. That's right. And when I get with that penny, if I get that penny, I know I'd have made it home. Amen. Huh? Amen. What it is, a sign? Quench the violence of fire. Quench. Go with to God, the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Ah. Hmm. You know, there are some areas in the world they still will use a machete on you. Yes, they will. They prefer it. That's right. They prefer they use a machete on you. That's right. I was saw a documentary some time ago on YouTube of a priest went into an area, uncharted area, trying to convert some people mm. uh, to be Catholics. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, he was missing past due time. Mm. He sent out a search party. And when they found his body, he had so many holes in his body they couldn't count. Mm. The tribe got a hold of him. I don't know what they did, but they punctured so many holes from his skull to his feet mm. until they said it was so many they could not even count the amount of holes like a needle punctured all in his body until it drained all the blood out of him. My Lord. Think of it. Think of that. Now, brothers and sisters, serving God is real business. Yes, it is. When you read about Daniel in the lion's den and the three Hebrew brothers that many preachers preach, yeah. but they don't really preach the essence of it. Right. Them three Hebrew brothers were stoned in fire mm -hmm. and refused to bow. That's right. Think of it. Look at that. They refused, refused to bow. Refused to bow. And God took the heat out of the flame yeah. in their behalf. That's right. Is there anything in your life yeah. that is challenging your walk with God with such force? Yes. You are compromising. And almost, if not already, bowing to it. Right. You know, many of us bow to the dollar. That's right. We put that money in front of God. Yeah. Some people say, oh man, I'd do anything to make a dollar. Use a fool. That's right. For you should not be willing to do anything to make a dollar. No. The dollar shouldn't have that much power over you. No. You should be willing to do anything for God, but never for money. That's right. Or for popularity. That's right. Do you hear? Quench the violence of fire. Yes. Escape the edge of the sword. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong. Hear that? Amen. Out of weakness. Out of weakness. Were made strong. God stepped in and made them strong. Wax valiant in fight. Wax valiant and and fighting. Turn to flight the armies of the enemy. Yes. Uh, turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Yes. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Thank of it. Amen. Women received their dead okay. to life again. And others were tortured. <laughs> mm. You hear that? And others were tortured. Amen. Imagine if they get pliers and pull your nails out one by one. My Lord, my Lord. Torture. In World War II, I love history. One of the methods of torture that Japan had, they had dig ditches in the ground, tie your hands and your feet, and they had stand the prisoners up, some of them, in the ditches straight up. Then cover them back with dirt, and the only thing would be seen is their head, neck up. Lord, and then they had come through with a machine like you're gathering cabbages. Lord have mercy. And rolled that machine through the ground mm. and pulls the head right off the neck. Lord have mercy. Imagine you there, nothing you can do but sit and look at this machine coming to you. Mm. Another method of torture. Strip your naked, lay on your stomach. Stretch your hands out, tie them. Stretch your legs out, tie them. Open your cavity. Take a snake, a poisonous snake, let it loose right up your body, and then untie your legs and feet and let you squirm until you die. Lord have mercy. Torture. Think of it. That's Another method of torture in Vietnam. Put you in a cage, submerged in water, just your head is out. In that cage is rats in the water. Leave you down there for days, long enough till the rats get hungry and start eating on your flesh while you're alive. My Lord, my Lord. And others were tortured. 
That's something. Imagine they throw these different forms of torture in your face for one reason. One reason. Either you deny Jesus Christ or bow to Satan. My Lord. And you can't go through somebody talking about you, looking at you wrong. My Lord. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Your faith in God must be strong, sound, uncompromising. That's right. Ask God make you strong. Strong. And sound. That's Your it. blackness is not a deterrent from torture. No, it's not. Your whiteness is not a deterrent from torture. No, it's not. So one thing I say about Satan, he ain't looking at what color you are. <laughs> no. He looking at how, what can I do to kill this man or kill this woman or at least make them blaspheme That's against right. the most high God. That's right. Like many times when the police make a raid, and many of these young men actually try to hide the cocaine and some get so stupid they try to eat the whole bag. <laughs> You mean to tell me you're going to eat a whole bag of cocaine so your stomach can burst open mm. just not to go to jail? Look, I'd rather go to jail. At least I'm living. At least you're living. And I'm eating. <laughs> That's right. And I'm sleeping. That's right. Or eat a whole bag of cocaine just to die, and now you've got to stand before the judge of the universe. My Lord. Just to hear him tell you, depart from me. Depart from you me. workers of iniquity, and then he send you to a burning hell, and your body never burned up, but you got to stay there as long oh, as Jesus. God remained God, and there's no end to him. That's right. You better hear this good now. Women receive their dead raised to life Women again. Women receive their dead to life again. And others were tortured. Other was tortured. Not accepting deliverance. No, what? Wait, 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 wait. My Lord. Look how steadfast their faith was. Not accepting deliverance. They would not accept deliverance. That they might obtain a that better they resurrection. they might obtain a better resurrection. They was willing to go through whatever it was, not be delivered from nobody. Nobody. Just to get a better resurrection. resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings. Others. Now, some have experienced mocking, yeah. but never cruel mockings. Cruel mockings. We may have, been, have a minor tease here, there. That's right. But never cruel mockings. Cruel mockings. Here it is, your supervisor or the people at your job knew you. Yeah. When you used to wear lipstick, mini skirts, and a blouse about that big. <laughs> your skeletal shoes, you was only four feet four. <laughs> By the time you wore the skeletal shoes, you were six one. <laughs> and here you come walking with, hey man, with your Barbie doll hair. And, That's right. Hey man, and put some type of stuff that you done. Amen. Pumped into your backside that they put in tires, and <laughs> hey Amen. You don't put Elmer's glue in your lips, and that's right. You don't took Clorox to bleach your skin. <laughs> you don't got old newspapers from 1947 to, and surplus stuff. You don't stuff down to <laughs> your breasts and My Lord. make your breasts all big. <laughs> and by the time you come in looking like a train wreck, they used to that. Yes. <laughs> And now you walking with God, you know, took all the inner tubes out and deflated your backside so it can go back to normal. Amen. Got a doctor to take all the old balls of tape and uh, crayons and stuff out your lips. And you know, took all the paint brushes off your eyebrows. You know, took all the mop residue out your hair. That's right. And you start now loving the real way God made you. That's right. Let me tell you how the devil works. He works so well. You let a model or a style come out. Women be natural. Yeah. Like in the 1960s and 70s. Yeah. Oh, man, being natural was a thing. Oh, yes. Then a Vogue came out in the 70s, maxi skirt. That's right. 
maxi dress. Man, they was walking down the, 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 the walkway with the long dress and long skirts because Vogue said do it. <laughs> That's right. We come along with the Bible, cover up the shame of your nakedness. And here's an 80 year old woman saying, I ain't no old woman. That's right. That's right. Oh, Whenever the devil introduced something that make you look half naked. Yeah. Men and women, green hair, burgundy hair. Mm. No shame. No shame. No shame whatsoever. Right. Black fingernails, pink fingernails, burgundy fingernails, blue. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? What's wrong? A grown man with shiny fingernails. <laughs> What's right. wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's right. What's wrong with you? That's right. A grown man? With nail hardening on, with nail getting hard. a manicure, yeah. man, you's a man. That's right. You shouldn't care if your nails, long as you cut them, like you got sense. <laughs> you ain't worrying about whether your nails are shiny or not. No. You, as long as your hands clean. Right. That's right. You know they watch me close over there. Yes, they do. I had men criticize and say, "You wear makeup." No, I don't. No, you don't. One man said, "Your eyelashes too long." What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I gotta watch that, you know. <laughs> I don't wear no makeup. No, you don't, Pastor. Some folks say, "What do you? You got to wear makeup to be on camera." Not me. No, you I don't. I don't wear no makeup. Nope. The way I am is the way God made me. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, you men that's watching me looking too hard. You're looking too hard. <laughs> Commenting on type of stuff. Hello. Your lips too pink. That's <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> Your eyelashes too long. You got on eyeline shadow. Man, what's wrong with you? Ain't no faggot. <laughs> Am I right, man? Who <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hey, man. Go ahead. I'm straight, Jack. Straight, that's right. I'm straight, Jack. I'm straight. I'm straight from the hood, man. That's right. You don't see me walking around, let the church say amen. <laughs> say amen again. Oh, the Lord is so wonderful. Hallelujah. That's the devil. That's the hell. devil. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You see, real men, real men don't mind being led by a real man. That's right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. These men don't want no watered down, pat me on the back, no. religion. No, no. If you come from the street, you live a hard life. You live the rough life. And you need something stronger than the devil you serve to get that monkey off your back. Am I right then? Oh, thank God. You understand? So men, men that are real, Amen. Men that are real, and they don't want this little watered down stuff no. that TD snakes have. That's right. That's why you see TD snakes always slap flapping around. <laughs> oh, God, going to. <laughs> Nobody want that stuff. That's right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus came from the hood. From the hood. Nazareth today is the hood. That's right. That's why it was written in the Bible, mm -hmm. can anything clean come out of Nazareth? Out of Nazareth. Everybody knew the way Nazareth was. <laughs> That's right. And if you go to the land of Nazareth today, today. that is a dirty, run-down hood place. Oh, yeah. God want real men. Yeah. Oh, yes. God want real women. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Being out here half naked don't make you no woman. No. 
Wearing makeup don't make you no woman. That's right. If you got to show your thighs and breasts to get a man, what you got ain't worth having. That's right. So what's going to happen? Amen. What's going to happen if your meat start to change? Oh, yeah. He's going to look for some new meat new in the meat. street. That's right. <laughs> you know, you got some men that like butchers. Yeah. <laughs> they carve that meat up. That's true. Be glad about covering your body. Amen. Not showing yourself in public. In public. You don't see a Muslim woman complaining. No. You see more naked Christians than you do folks out in the street. Amen. Mini skirt Christian. Yeah. Show your breast Christian. Yeah. Half naked Christian. Half naked. Fake hair Christian. Oh yeah. If you gonna represent God, there ain't nothing fake about God. That's right. That's right. God is real. That's right. So God wants the real people. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Do you hear this? And others were tortured. Other was tortured. Not accepting deliverance. Not accepting deliverance. That they might obtain that a better they might resurrection. Obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourging. Yes. Yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Uh -huh. They were stoned. They were what? They were stoned. There are areas in the world that still go by these old biblical methods of torment. That's right. And stoning is one of them. That's right. That's I don't mean throwing little pebbles at you. No. You ever seen beach stone? Mm. Big, round, smooth stones. Oh, yeah. Some people use them in landscaping. Yeah. Imagine being stoned by 10,000 people and they all have stones hurling those stones at you like a thunderstorm. Yeah, all because you're willing to stand for God. That's right. See, when we travel different areas of the world, brothers that go with us know our preaching don't change. No, it doesn't. When we go in prisons no, and we right. go in hard state and federal pens. Oh, yeah. Preaching don't change. No, it doesn't. I was in one prison, and there was one white brother, and uh, I was making a parable, preaching against racism. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed him by the hand and asked him, stand up, brother. Well, I didn't realize how tall as he was. He kept going. <laughs> and he had a swastika tattoo mm -hmm. up on his arm, kept flexing it. I ain't care nothing about no swastika. <laughs> I made example. I said, now, if this brother going to look at me as a cracker, or as a nigger, yeah. and I look at him as a cracker, mm -hmm. and the whole prison was like, ooh. <laughs> I said, when we realize that there's one creator, one God, that made you and made me, and if I cut you and you cut me, look what color your blood is. That's right. Your blood is red. That's right. That's right. I said, when I respect him as a human being and he respect me as a human being and get that tag of nigger and cracker off, because yeah. God ain't never make niggers That's and right. never made crackers. That's right. God said, let us make man. That's it. Let us make man, man-made niggas, yeah. man-made crackers, yeah. not God. Not God. The Bible don't say, and he made niggas in his image. No. What do a nigga look like? <laughs> he made crackers in his image. That's right. What do a cracker look like? That's right. He said he made man in his image. That's it. When it came time for baptism, yeah. we asked, in the prison, how many want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Who was the first one jumped up? The man with the swastika. Huh. First one that jumped up. The man with the swastika was crying like a baby. He said, I ain't supposed to be doing this. <laughs> When the Lord God of heaven prick your heart, who cares who you are? Amen. 
There ain't no man in here more tougher than God. No. God can break you and bring you down to the lowest degree. That's right. And brother, when God break you down, you're broken. Oh, yes. Listen at this. They were stoned. Get chapter and verse again. Now in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 37. Everybody all right? Listen. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. They were, wait a minute. They were stoned. They were sawn. And then what else? They were sawn asunder. Can you imagine being sawed asunder Sunday. as a form of torture? My Lord, my Lord. Not give you no anesthesia to numb nothing. No. But start sawing your limbs to pieces. Like some of these crazy men who capture women. Yeah. And then torture them and cut their body up. That's right. Can you imagine what's going through that woman or that child's head? Child's mind. A man sitting there laughing and playing with them. Mm. And got a bone saw telling the child what he going to do to the child. Mm. Imagine you being captured in behalf of standing for truth. Many religions talk big, but when it comes ready to endure and really stand for the Lord God of heaven and earth, they turn around quick. They tell you, oh man, I ain't doing that. That's right. I ain't doing that. You asking too much. Too much. Jesus said, can you drink? Of the cup. Of the cup that I drank of. Can you be baptized? With the baptism, with the that, baptism, I baptized 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 baptized. baptism that I am baptized with. That question remains for the world to hear. Oh, yes. Listen. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder. They were stoned, sawed asunder. Why, you jump real quick when you just perk with a needle or right. prick with a pen. Right. Imagine being sawed asunder. Sawed asunder. The kind of saws they use to cut down big, thick trees with. A man on each end. Imagine they lay you on a table and tie your hands and feet and lay a saw right across your chest. My Lord, my Lord. All on behalf of what you believe. What you believe. What you stand for. Mm. Will you deny God? Because cussing them out ain't going to do nothing. No, it won't. Calling them like you mother, they ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> no. It's not going to do one thing. No. So how strong are you? How sound do you think you are? And how much faith do you believe you have in the God of heaven? Or is this just something, a fade or fads you're going through in life, coming to church, be there for a while, and then go back in the street and live your wild, simple, right. foolish life? Yeah. When it come down to serving God, that's the most sincere act you can ever do in your lifetime. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. For God is not mocked yeah. and God is not a toy Hallelujah. either you live for him or be willing to die for him that's it are you listening they were stoned they were stoned they were sawn asunder they were sawn asunder were tempted were tempted were slain with the sword Holy! were tempted imagine brother they capture you and put you in a room with a bunch of beautiful nigger women. <laughs> Built all kind of ways. Some put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> some built for speed and some built for comfort. All shades. All shades. They're just looking at you. Oh, and tell you, you can choose any one you have. They starting to rub all on your head, all on your back. <laughs> From their tongue in your ear, you... <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing your feet. <laughs> huh? oh, and tell you, we'll bring your fantasy to life. Mm. But you must deny Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm. You must say it. And the woman or the women start sucking on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
making it hard, Pastor. <laughs> oh, I'm making it hard for you. And she said, come on, come on, you can do it. I'm an atheist. I, I serve Satan. It ain't hard. You can deny this Jesus Christ stuff. He's a myth. And the moment you go to say something to open your mouth, and she puts her tongue right down your mouth. Mm. <laughs> Give you the wettest, nastiest, slimiest kiss you ever obtained. <laughs> Until your mind starts yelling like SpongeBob. I'm ready! <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All if you simply deny the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm. Let me take you to school, brothers. Mm. Is everybody all right? <laughs> My father was in the Korean War for eight years on the front line. And Vietnam duplicated some of the methods of torture that they did in Korea. And my father, I remember sitting in the kitchen with him one night, and I was so deep into this conversation, you know, he's a coffee, he was a coffee drinker. He said, Gene, give me the coffee. And I grabbed the salt. He said, no, give me the, give me the sugar. So uh, when I was sitting there listening to him, he said, one of the methods of torture they had in Korea they get a man and tie him to a chair and get about three or four women, strip him naked. And they'll make, they'll, each one would take turns straddling him, mm. make his nature rise high, mm. and then cut his private off. Oh, Lord, my Lord. He wasn't ready for that, was he? <laughs> He said, Gene, there's, there was areas mm. in Korea where you saw a pit of nothing but men's privates. That's how many they cut off. My Lord, my Lord. You know that's torture. Torture. Mm. They get women lined up, different ones that take turn, till they get good and hard and rise up. Mm. And then the sergeant take his machete, or rather his sword, and cut it right while your heart, cut it right off, and let blood be skeeting everywhere, and then the soldiers will be sitting around laughing until you bleed out. And they'll take your body, throw it in another area so the dogs can eat what's left, and take your privates and dump it in the pit. Mm. Amen. Nobody was ready for that one. <laughs> Everybody went to shock, went to shock mode. Now imagine, my Lord, my Lord. they're going to do that to you all because mm. of the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to make it as graphic as I can <laughs> because there are some countries that will actually do exactly what I'm explaining to you. Amen. You better be glad for the ice cream man that can the streets here in America. That's right. Because you go in some countries, and talk about the name of Jesus. Yeah. If God don't help you, you might as well say bye to your family because yeah. you ain't never coming back. That's true. When you take this type of stand like this, they look at that as blasphemous. That's right. You challenge their gods. You challenge their religions. You challenge their beliefs. Mm. They'll fill you with a room with a bunch of women, and they will not tell you the all 10 of them have AIDS, full-blown AIDS, mm. and they'll strip you naked. Oh, have mercy. And then all of them just mount up on you. Mm. Each day, a whole week, give you all the pleasure, all the fun. Mm. Then when the week is up, let all of them confess to you that they have this disease, that disease, the other disease, the other disease. Can you imagine? Imagine that. Walking with God is real business. Yes, it is. You got in mind to travel with me someplace. Oh, yes. You never know because I'm telling you, you ask the brothers that travel with me oh, yes. the same way I'm here in America. 
I'm like this everywhere in the world right. and sometime worse. That's right. We don't back down from nobody's government. No. And we don't back down from nobody's threat. Yep. I got so many contracts out on me now that I can't count. I ain't running from nobody. No. That's if right. God cannot keep me, I can't be kept. Right. If God can't protect me, I can't be protected. Amen. All right, listen. Amen. Listen at this. They were stoned. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Sawed asunder. Were tempted. Were tempted. Were slain with the sword. Think of that, brother. You straight. Yeah. And they lied up a bunch of gay men. Gay and men. they know you straight. <laughs> Put you on your knees. Tie you down. Mercy. And let them come run a train on you, brother. Mm. Hallelujah. You don't feel like saying hallelujah. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> you straight. How about you say he making this stuff up? If you only here in America and ain't been up the country, you don't have an idea what I'm talking. That's right. Serving God is real business. Yes, it is. Read your Bible. Yes, it you is. You are seed of different things that men and women, and women. endure. Give me the second, uh, seventh chapter of the book of Maccabees. Maccabees. Let me read this real quick. Second if Maccabees. If you think I'm making this up. In the Old Testament, they were forbidden to eat pork. They was not allowed to eat swine flesh, yeah. pork. There was a woman that had seven sons in the Bible. Yeah. And they were not willing to bow to the king who wanted, the king just simply wanted them to go contrary to the commandment and eat pork. That's it. And they was dedicated to God. They were not willing to put swine flesh into their mouth. Yeah. Look at what happened to them. Follow me in your Bible. Second Maccabees chapter 7, and we're starting in verse 1. Your viewers, hear this now. Listen. Second Maccabees chapter 7, and we're at the first verse. Yes. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken. Yes. And compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. Yes. And were tormented with scourges and whips. Now. All the king wanted them to do taste. was to taste swine flesh. Taste swine flesh. Eat some pork. Yep. But according to the Old Testament dietary law, that was against God's will. That's right. Listen. But one of them that spake first said thus, what shouldest thou ask or learn of us? Yes. We are ready to die. Uh-oh. Mm. We are ready to die. Rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. Being willing to die That's than it. to transgress the law of your fathers. That's right. Uh -huh. Then the king being in a rage. Listen. The king was in a rage. Commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. He commanded pans and cauldrons, and cauldrons to be made hot. Make them hot. Which forthwith being heated. Yes. He commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first. First, cut out the tongue of this man that's talking first. And to cut off the utmost parts of his body. Cut the utmost parts of his body off. The rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. His brothers and his mother looking standing there watching. Now when he was thus maimed in all his members. When he was thus maimed. And all his members, he commanded him, being yet alive, to be brought to the fire. Listen, he's still alive. Still alive. Did I cut the man tongue out? Yeah. His body was maimed. Yeah. And then he was still alive. He commanded him. Now the being, king, as if that torture wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. The king commanded him. Him being yet alive to be brought to the fire. Bring him to the fire. And to be fried in the pan. I told you, this is all Bible here. Bible. Fry this man in the pan. 
And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space. Can you imagine dispersed. what that smell like? Mm. The Bible says, and the vapor. And the vapor of the pan. Of the pan. Was for a good space dispersed. Was for a good space. He was frying. He was cooking a good while. They exhorted one another with the mother. The brothers looking at their blood brother mm. being tortured and the mother looking at her son being tortured instead of trying to fight they exhorted one another they, exhorted they encouraged one another. one another they exhorted one another with the mother with the mother to die manfully listen the mother told her son die like a man that's right think of it the mother told her son, die, men. die like a man. That's right. Don't you bow to nobody but God himself. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking. That's it. This old little trivial backbiting the roll eyes. Nobody got time for that school foolishness. That's right. I'm talking about real endurance. That's it. Listen. The Lord God looketh upon us. The and Lord in, God look upon us. And in truth hath comfort in us. You see, their God was Abraham's God. That's right. Their God was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the prophets. Their God was our God. That's right. Uh -huh. As Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, yes. declared, saying, he shall be comforted in his servant. Yes. So when the first was dead after this manner. Remember, she had seven sons. So when the first was dead after this manner. They brought the second to make him a mocking star. Now they got went for the the second son and made a mocking sock out of him. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, <laughs> they pulled off the skin of the his skin head. The skin of his head with the hair. They scalped him. That's right. All because they refused to eat pork that was contrary to the law. That's right. Mm. They was determined. Mm. To be committed to God and go through torture if need be. That's right. You know, this is some strong stuff. Yes, it is. Do you hear this? They asked him, wilt thou eat? Well, listen, hmm. they scalped him. Scalped him. Pulled his skin off with his hair with still attached. Hair. And what were they asking him while they were scalping him? Wilt thou eat? Will you eat? Before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body? Before you be punished through all the members of your body? But he answered in his own language and said, no. 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 You see how firm that stand was? Yeah. Oh. Could you answer that in behalf of the name of the Lord Jesus? Amen. No. No. I won't turn. Mm. No. I won't change. Amen. That's something. Glory to God. This is where we're trying to get the people that, of God at. That's right. Get past this little, this little trivial rolling eye. I don't like the way she looked at me. He talked to me and what not what he got and what she got. Nobody cared nothing about that grade school uh, Hot Wheels Tonka <laughs> truck foolishness. That's right. That's right. The Bible said through the Apostle Paul, if you can't judge a small matter, you can't judge a large. Yeah. You got people in the book here that have died holding on to the God of heaven. That's right. And here the world is holding on to money, prosperity, and notoriety. That's right. It ain't nothing worth dying for other than God. Amen. Amen. Nobody can do for you to what God have done. That's right. What did he say? Wherefore he also received the, the next torment in order. Yes. As the former did. Yes. And when as the last The gasp, same thing they'd done to the first one. That's right. They'd done to the second son. Real quick. And when he was at the last gas, he said, then like a fury. Wait, when he was at the last at gas. At the last gas. That means when he was at the last breath. That's right. What did he say? He said, thou like a fury take us out oh, of this thou, life. Talking to the king. You like a fury. Take us out of this present life. You listen at his at this young man's faith. Amen. You take us out of this present life. But the king of the world talking shall, about God now. Shall raise us up. Go right to God. Hallelujah. The king of the world of the world shall raise us up. Shall raise us up. Who have died for his law. Who have died for his law. Unto everlasting life. Unto everlasting life. He was looking at the resurrection. That's right. 
You know when you walk with God, you know your life is not your own? Yeah. The Bible says you're bought with a price. With a price. What is it, son? After him was the third made now a mocking stock. Now he got stock. the third one and made him a mocking stock. And when he was required, he put out his tongue. Yes. And wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Amen. He and, did what to the king? When he was required. When he got the, when the king got him. He put out his tongue. Hey, come on. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Amen. He stuck his tongue out. He didn't wait for them to cut it out. He stuck it out stuck at it him. Out. Listen. And that right soon, holding forth his hands manfully. He hold forth his hands like a man. And said courageously. He said courageously. These I had from heaven. Listen. Amen. He hold out his hands. Amen. And said courageously, these I had from heaven. Talking about the limbs of his body. That's right. These I had from heaven. They was God given. And for his laws I despised and for them. For his laws I despised them. And from him. And from him. I hope to receive them again. You can take them. Hallelujah. But from him, I'll get them back. That's right. Take my hands. That's right. Take my feet. But from the creator of the world, I'm I'll get them back. Receive them again. My God, how much faith is that? Amen. Do you hear this? In so much that the king and they that were with him marveled. In so much the king that was and those that were with them, they were shocked. Marveled at the young man's courage. And Amen. what kind of man? The young man's courage. Young man. What kind of man? Young man's courage. Do you see the steadfastness? Lord. They got courage to sell drugs and wear yeah. their pants down and show their underwear, rape women and make babies they don't want to take care of, lie, swear, rob, banks, carjack, but they don't have enough courage to bow down and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for the sins that I've done. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Let me use street language. Mm. You feel as though serving God is being a punk. Uh -huh. That's right. That's a punkish thing to do. Yeah. Look how dumb you sound. Yeah. The one that gave you breath, life, or oh, I'm my own man. You ain't your own. No. The only one that keep you living is God. That's right. You breathe by his permission. That's right. You walk by his permission. Yeah. You talk by his permission. Yeah. You sleep by God's permission. Yeah. Not by your own accord. No. You're only alive today because God granted you life. Life is not yours, it is lent to you. That's right. Look at life at someone that live in the house and they lease us up. When they lease us up, when your life is up, God takes your breath. God takes your breath. What can you do? Oh yeah. The only thing that keep a bubble on water is air. Yes. Only thing keep your body functioning is heaven. That's right. Someone say, I don't believe in God. That don't stop him from existing. No. That's like somebody throwing gasoline on you and then throw a match. You yelling, <laughs> I'm not on fire. What you burning for? That's right. You walk around like a fool all you want. I don't <laughs> believe I'm burning. When that snap, crack, a pop, start making that noise. Oh, yeah. You'll understand. Yes, you will. Come on, son. In so much that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage. Be quick. For that he nothing regarded the pains. Now Come on, when, son. Now, when this man was dead also. When this man was dead also. They tormented and mangled the fourth they in like the manner. They got the fourth, son, so in when, like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said thus. What? It is good. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop right there, Pastor. <laughs> Thank God. Hmm. When he went was, through the same torment and torture as his other brothers. So when he was ready to die. When he was ready to die. He said, thus it is good. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. You know what scripture says this? It was good that I was afflicted. That's right. His response was, it is good. It is good. What? Being put to death by men. Being put to death by men. To look for hope from God. The, Hallelujah. Do you understand? Hallelujah. To look for hope from God. From God. To be raised again by him. To be him. raised again 
by him. As for thee, as for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. He, Amen. Listen, he got time to lay the king out. <laughs> That's right. As for you, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. Now, mm. look at the Old Testament. He acknowledged God as being the one to raise him up. Raise him up. Look at the New Testament. Jesus says, right. I am the resurrection. The resurrection. That right there is showing you Jesus is God. Is God. That's right. He was God manifested in the flesh. His flesh was not God. Right. But the spirit that was in him, that was God of heaven and earth. That's right. Glory to God, do you hear this? Afterward, they brought the fourth also and mangled him. Yes. Then looked he unto the king. And said what? And said, thou hast power over men. Yes. Thou, thou art corruptible. Thou doest what thou wilt. Yet think not that our nation is forsaken of God. Yes. But abide a while and behold his great power, mm -hmm. how he will torment thee and thy seed. Yes. After him also they brought the sick. He was letting the king know you'll reap what you sow. That's right. God, they're going to torment you and your seed. That and means seed. Your, your generations. That's right. Uh -huh. After him also they brought the sick. Yes. He being ready to die. Yes. Said, be not deceived without cause. For, the, for we suffer these things for ourselves. Yes. Having sinned against our God, therefore marvelous things are done unto us. Yes. But think not thou that thou takest in hand to strive against God, mm -hmm. that thou shalt escape unpunished. Yes. But the mother was marvelous above all. Now, listen to what the Bible says about the mother Amen. of all these boys. But the mother was marvelous above all. The Bible all. says the mother was marvelous of all, or the greatest one of all of them. Listen at what the Bible says about her. And worthy of honorable memory. Listen, she was so worthy of honorable mem memory until this was documented. That's right. Listen. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day. What? How many of you women can endure my something Lord, like this? My Lord. What happened in one day? Seven sons slain within the all space of one family, day. All her family, all the children wiped out in, in what space of time? Of one day. And you looking at them one by one being tortured. My Lord. Smelling your son's body burn. Mm. My Listen. Lord. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, yes. she bare it with a good courage. She bare it with a good courage? Because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Do you see that? Hmm. Because of the hope that she had in the Lord. She had in the Lord. Yea, she exhorted every Yea, one of them. She exhorted every one of them. In her own language. In her own language. Filled with courageous spirits. Look, she was filled with courageous spirits. And stirring up her womanish thoughts. And she had womanish thoughts. With a manly stomach. With a manly stomach, me, even though she had the thoughts of a mother. But she took it like a man. Like a she, man. Bared it like a man with a whole manly stomach. Manly stomach. Uh -huh. She said unto them, I cannot tell you how you came into my womb. Yes. For I neither gave you breath nor life. Yes. Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. Uh -huh. But doubtless the creator of the world. Glory to God. Doubtless the creator of the world. The creator of the world. Who formed the generation who of man. Formed the generations of man. And found out the beginning of all things. Yes. Will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again. Yes, Lord. My Lord, my Lord. Jesus said, Can you drink of the cup? Of the cup that I drink of. That I drink of. Can you be baptized? with the baptism I am baptized, baptized with. with. We travel to the different places of the world. Yeah. It ain't like New York. No. Every hotel I stay in ain't no nice hotel. No. Some hotels, the bed is just as hard as a cement floor. Yeah. <laughs> we fight lizards <laughs> in some hotel. We fight fire ants in some hotels get bitten and come down with malaria yeah. in some places, mm. preaching the word of God preaching the word. in all type of conditions. That's right. These men that make a churches don't do that. No. 
they're going to make it their business to stay in the most exclusive places they can. That's right. They'll come preach maybe, <laughs> maybe. to a poor people. Maybe. Oh, yeah. But by the time they leave, they're going to take what the poor people have and make them poorer. That's right. Only thing I want is not yours. Wonderful. You is what I want. That's right. Your soul. Your soul. God said all souls are mine. That's right. And when you realize that you was made for God's glory, yeah. God didn't make you the glory in yourself. No. God made you for him. That's right. And God declared through the apostle Peter in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You that then went to some old fake church and bow your head and raise your hands. You was told to accept Christ as your personal savior. Ain't no Bible ever taught that foolishness. No. Join the church. The Bible ain't never tell you join no church. No. Go to a Catholic church and get sprinkled out of an upright toilet. That's not God's will. <laughs> That's right. You ought to throw the water back on that fake priest. Amen. The Bible speaks plain. Then Peter said unto them, repent. God want a repentant people. Repentant. You get a people that have a repentant heart, man, you won't have to fight with that man or woman to do right. No. Because they make it up in their mind they want to get right. That's right. The word of God says repent. And be baptized every one every of you. Every one of you in the name. Of Jesus Christ. For. The remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you're Ghost. filled with the Holy Ghost, you're filled with the Spirit of God. You're filled with God. That's it. Amen. Anybody here today want to be right according to God's word? and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> glory to God. All of you that are standing, Hallelujah. go to the back. All of you that are standing, look at here, look at here. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Amen. Amen. All of you, look at here, look, viewers, viewers, I want you to see this. This is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. This is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Who can say God is not in this? Hallelujah. This is not happening nowhere in the world no, no. in this manner. Not in this manner. I thank God that the truth of God have that testimony. Hallelujah. That this is not happening nowhere no. in the whole world Amen. in this manner. Amen. God Almighty is with us. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. God is with us. Hallelujah. Bible said, repent and be baptized. Hallelujah. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's it. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now we thank God for all of you. Mm. Who can give me the correct time, brothers? 244. All right. Two, two what? 244. 243, 44, 45. You know the way false prophets, they never speak the same thing. <laughs> we're glad for all of you. Now we're going to let you go because we got to come back at 5 o'clock. So you want to go eat and whatnot. I have to get out of here quick so I can get back and then get back on this evening because we got to hit the road and get back to Philadelphia tonight. Yeah. Normally I go back on Monday, but I have to hit back tonight. So I don't have time to stand around to talk to nobody. So I'm going I'm to greet you now in case I don't do it after service. Greeting! <laughs> and peace be unto you all. Let us all stand. And uh, Brother Minister Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, once again for all of your blessings and your mercy toward us. We thank you, Father God, how you watched out over us, how you kept us. We thank you for your word that was taught in our hearing. Bless us now not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God and for the word that you put in his mouth. 
Continue to bless him and keep him by thine spirit. We thank you, Father God, for the souls that desire to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them, Father God, that they may be filled with thine Holy Ghost. Bless us now and strengthen us as we come back again. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.